Alright guys, so we just went out to the pier fishing and we caught a jacker ball. I've never eaten one of these, but some people say they're bad, some people say they're good. We're going to show you how to clean this one. They do have really small scales, so that's one thing you have to remember. So with a really sharp knife, you're going to come in behind the dorsal fin and make a single cut behind the head. Then you're going to wipe the scales off and follow his backbone all the way down to his tail. And then once you get past the ribs, slide your knife in and you just cut down. Not all the way through the tail though. Then we're going to take our knife back and then we're just going to fillet down. And as you'll see in a second, Jack Kerbal is a bloodier meat. It resembles tuna a lot. So we're going to cut along that backbone area and up and over those ribs. So, just a few little cuts here and there to get the meat to peel off of the ribs. And we're going to come up here behind the head and make a slice down. And follow that. As you can see, the meat looks a lot like a tuna. Just like that. So, this is about a five pound jack. Um, so you're gonna get a decent amount of meat from what it looks like. So off of this first fillet, one thing you will need to know about is that you have a big bloodline back here. So that's why when I'm filleting them off the skin, sometimes I cut a little bit more off of these sides so you can see how I left some of that bloodline. And I cut that skin and send it over there so it's out of our way when we do that other side. Now, you're going to want to come in and find the pin bones. Pin bones run right in the center of the fillet. You're just going to make a small cut on both sides of them. Just like that. And I'm actually going to do this all the way down. That also separates our fillet and takes out the middle bloodline. So there's the middle pin bones and bloodline. As you can see, each slab looks like you're, you just got the meat off of black fin tuna. So, now we're going to come in, we're going to try to get a little bit more of this bloodline off. Just because no one ever likes bloodline. It just helps it that much more. They have a really thick bloodline and it's pretty big, so you don't have to worry about getting it all. But... Trimming it up a little bit does not hurt the meat whatsoever. Makes it better. So there you go. As you can see the first side it looks a lot like a black fin tuna fillet. That top fillet. So we're going to trim this. And as you can see there's that first fillet. And we're going to come back and do the same thing on that other side. Right behind the dorsal fin. Up into the head. Just like that. Wipe scales off. Flip them around. We're going to do this side at regular speed. So we're just going to come down here. And you do have a bone right there. I'm going to cut all the way across the spine. Not all the way through. Come back in. One thing you will notice is there's this big bone right here. I'm going to cut that out and show you guys. And so, when you're filleting it, you will notice this. Actually, I'm not really sure what this is. But it looks like a bone, so you will see that maybe. And we're going to fillet down. You don't have a dollar around. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna keep going up over those rib bones. Just like this. And it'll start to come together as you go over that rib cage. 
We're going to do the same thing we did on that other side. Pull them back up and then make a cut down there. Just like that. As you can see, that's our big fillet. One thing I am leaving is this tail right here. That's just like a bone. You guys probably hear this. That's all a bone. So you don't want that. So I leave that muscle on the bone. So I cut about an inch back when I'm taking the skin off. And then just fillet. I'm going to try to leave a little bit of that bloodline. So I'm going to cut it off a little bit. As you can see, I got that whole bloodline that time, which is what I was trying to do. But I did leave a little bit of meat on that top part. So I'm going to come in here. Just like this. And fillet that piece off. Just like that. And there's another big piece. What? Oh, you want to see what's in? Yeah. Let's check to see if he has anything interesting in his stomach. surprised if it's just a bait fish. But we'll check. I'll grab that stomach right there. It's always cool to see what your fish have been eating. <laughs> so we'll see if he has anything. Nope. Not nothing in his stomach. Which would explain why he was so hungry when he ate our lure. <laughs> So as you can see, there's our de filleted jack. Now we're going to come back on this and take these pin bones out. Split the fillet down. Just like that. I'm going to come on this side. Now this is my first time trying Jack Creval, so I'm going to try to get just about as good as I can. Looks like there's some more little bones right there. Just like that. There's one piece off that second fillet. That's the top. And this is that top piece. We're going to take that little piece of skin off. Take that tail piece because that's where that bone is. And just a lot of muscle there. And there we go. That's basically it. One thing I'm going to do is take this little piece of the bloodline out. And that's just going to make it that much better. As you can see, the meat looks almost identical to a blackfin tuna with that nice dark color. No, looking pretty good though. So. I'll tell you guys how it turns out, and we'll see you next time.